Secondary hypertension is a type of hypertension which by definition is caused by an identifiable underlying secondary cause. It is much less common than the other type, called essential hypertension, affecting only 5% of hypertensive patients. It has many different causes including endocrine diseases, kidney diseases, and tumors. It also can be a side effect of many medications. Types equals renovascular hypertension equals, it has two main causes, fibromuscular dysplasia and atheromatous stenosis. Also diabetes, see main article at renovascular hypertension. Equals hypertension secondary to other renal disorders equals, chronic renal failure, kidney disease slash renal artery stenosis. The normal physiological response to low blood pressure in the renal arteries is to increase cardiac output to maintain the pressure needed for glomerular filtration. Here, however, increased CO cannot solve the structural problems causing renal artery hypertension, with the result that CO remains chronically elevated. Renal segmental hypoplasia equals hypertension secondary to endocrine disorders equals neurogenic hypertension excessive secretion of norepinephrine and epinephrine which promotes vasoconstriction resulting from chronic high activity of the symptoadrenal system, the sympathetic nervous system and the adrenal gland. The specific mechanism involved is increased release of the stress hormones, epinephrine and norepinephrine which increase blood output from the heart and constrict arteries. People with neurogenic hypertension respond poorly to treatment with diuretics as the underlying cause of their hypertension is not addressed. Pheotromocytoma, a tumor which results in an excessive secretion of norepinephrine and epinephrine which promotes vasoconstriction. Hyperaldosteronism, idiopathic hyperaldosteronism, Liddell's syndrome, glucocorticoid remediable aldosteronism, Cushing syndrome. An excessive secretion of glucocorticoids causes the hypertension, hyperparathyroidism, acromegaly, hyperthyroidism, hyperthyroidism. Equals other secondary hypertension equals hormonal contraceptives, neurologic disorders, obstructive sleep apnea, licorice, scleroderma, neurofibromatosis, pregnancy, unclear etiology. Cancers. Tumors in the kidney can operate in the same way as kidney disease. More commonly, however, tumors cause an essential hypertension by ectopic secretion of hormones involved in normal physiological control of blood pressure. Drugs, in particular, alcohol, nasal decongestants with adrenergic effects, NSAIDs, MAOIs, adrenoceptor stimulants, and combined methods of hormonal contraception can cause hypertension while in use. Heavy alcohol use, steroid use, nicotine use. Malformed aorta, slow pulse, ischemia, these cause reduced blood flow to the renal arteries, with physiological responses as already outlined. Aortic valve disease, unclear etiology. Coarcation of the aorta, atherosclerosis. Anemia, unclear etiology. Fever, unclear etiology. White coat hypertension, that is, elevated blood pressure in a clinical setting but not in other settings, probably due to the anxiety some people experience during a clinic visit. Perioperative hypertension is development of hypertension just before, during or after surgery. It may occur before surgery during the induction of anesthesia. Intraoperatively for example by pain-induced sympathetic nervous system stimulation. In the early postanesthesia period, for example by pain-induced sympathetic stimulation, hyperthermia, hypoxia, or hypervolemia from excessive intraoperative fluid therapy. And in the 24 to 48 hours after the postoperative period as fluid is mobilized from the extravascular space. In addition, hypertension may develop perioperatively because of discontinuation of long-term antihypertensive medication equals adrenal equals, a variety of adrenal cortical abnormalities can cause hypertension, in primary aldosteronism there is a clear relationship between the aldosterone induced sodium retention and the hypertension. Another related disorder that causes hypertension is apparent mineralocorticoid excess syndrome which is an autosomal recessive disorder that results from mutations in the gene encoding 11 I2 hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase, 
an enzyme that normally inactivates circulating cortisol to the less active metabolite cortisone. At high concentrations cortisol can cross-react and activate the mineral locuticoid receptor, leading to aldosterone-like effects in the kidney, causing hypertension. This effect can also be produced by prolonged ingestion of licorice, by causing inhibition of the 11i squared hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase enzyme and likewise leading to secondary apparent mineral locuticoid excess syndrome. Frequently, if licorice is the cause of the high blood pressure, a low blood level of potassium will also be present. Cortisol induced hypertension cannot be completely explained by the activity of cortisol on aldosterone receptors. Experiments show that treatment with spironolactone does not prevent hypertension with excess cortisol. It seems that inhibition of nitric oxide synthesis may also play a role in cortisol-induced hypertension. Yet another related disorder causing hypertension is glucocorticoid remediable aldosteronism, which is an autosomal dominant disorder in which the increase in aldosterone secretion produced by ACTH is no longer transient, causing of primary hyperaldosteronism. The gene mutated will result in an aldosterone synthase that is ACTH sensitive, which is normally not. GRA appears to be the most common monogenic form of human hypertension. Compare these effects to those seen in Combs disease, an adrenocortical tumor which causes excess release of aldosterone, that leads to hypertension. Another adrenal related cause is Cushing's syndrome, which is a disorder caused by high levels of cortisol. Cortisol is a hormone secreted by the cortex of the adrenal glands. Cushing's syndrome can be caused by taking glucocorticoid drugs, or by tumors that produce cortisol or adrenocorticotropic hormone. More than 80% of patients with Cushing's syndrome develop hypertension, which is accompanied by distinct symptoms of the syndrome, such as central obesity, lipodystrophy, moon face, sweating, hirsutism and anxiety. Equals kidney equals, other well-known causes include diseases of the kidney. This includes diseases such as polycystic kidney disease which is a cystic genetic disorder of the kidneys, PKD is characterized by the presence of multiple cysts in both kidneys, can also damage the liver, pancreas, and rarely, the heart and brain. It can be autosomal dominant or autosomal recessive with the autosomal dominant form being more common and characterized by progressive cyst development and bilaterally enlarged kidneys with multiple cysts, with concurrent development of hypertension, renal insufficiency and renal pain. Or chronic glomerulomyphritis which is a disease characterized by inflammation of the glomeruli, or small blood vessels in the kidneys. Hypertension can also be produced by diseases of the renal arteries supplying the kidney. This is known as renovascular hypertension. It is thought that decreased perfusion of renal tissue due to stenosis of a main or branch renal artery activates the renin-angiotensin system. Also, some renal tumors can cause hypertension. The differential diagnosis of a renal tumor in a young patient with hypertension includes juxtaglomerular cell tumor, Wilms tumor, and renal cell carcinoma, all of which may produce renin. Neuroendocrine tumors are also a well-known cause of secondary hypertension. Pheotromocytoma increases secretion of catecholamines such as epinephrine and norepinephrine, causing excessive stimulation of adrenergic receptors, which results in peripheral vasoconstriction and cardiac stimulation. This diagnosis is confirmed by demonstrating increased urinary excretion of epinephrine and norepinephrine in all their metabolites equals medication side effects equals certain medications including NSAIDs and steroids can cause hypertension other medications include extrogens certain antidepressants buspirone carbamazepine bromocriptine clozapine and cyclosporine high blood pressure that is associated with a sudden withdrawal of various antihypertensive medications is called rebound hypertension the increases in blood pressure may result in blood pressures greater than when the medication was initiated. Depending on the severity of the increase in blood pressure, rebound hypertension may result in a hypertensive emergency. Rebound hypertension is avoided by gradually reducing the dose, thereby giving the body enough time to adjust to reduction in dose. Medications commonly associated with rebound hypertension include centrally acting antihypertensive agents, 
such as clonidine and methyl dopa. Other herbal or natural products, which have been associated with hypertension include Ma Huang, St. John's Wort, and licorice. Equals pregnancy equals, few women of childbearing age have high blood pressure, up to 11% develop hypertension of pregnancy. While generally benign, it may herald three complications of pregnancy, preeclampsia, HELLP syndrome and eclampsia. Follow-up and control with medication is therefore often necessary. Equals sleep disturbances equals, another common and under-recognized sign of hypertension is sleep apnea, which is often best treated with nocturnal nasal continuous positive airway pressure, but other approaches include the mandibular advancement splint, UPPP, tonsillectomy, adenoidectomy, sptoplasty, or weight loss. Another cause is an exceptionally rare neurological disease called Binswanger's disease, causing dementia. It is a rare form of multi-infarct dementia, and is one of the neurological syndromes associated with hypertension. Equals arsenic exposure equals, because of the ubiquity of arsenic in groundwater supplies and its effect on cardiovascular health, low-dose arsenic poisoning should be inferred as a part of the pathogenesis of idiopathic hypertension. Idiopathic and essential are both somewhat synonymous with primary hypertension. Arsenic exposure has also many of the same signs of primary hypertension such as headache, somnolence, confusion, proteinuria visual disturbances, and nausea and vomiting. Equals potassium deficiency equals, due to the role of intracellular potassium in regulation of cellular pressures related to sodium, establishing potassium balance has been shown to reverse hypertension. Diagnosis The ABCDE mnemonic can be used to help determine a secondary cause of hypertension A. Accuracy, apnea, aldosteronism, B. Brutes, bad kidney, C. Catecholamines, coarctation of the aorta, Cushing syndrome, D. Drugs, diet, E. Erythropoietin, endocrine disorders. References External links Physiology, CNN, Mayo Clinic. Hypertension Types